Now in this video we are going to bring the online survey online. To do that um, you scroll down to survey status and here it uh, asks should this survey be online accessible and you just select yes and you bring it in design mode and then you change the survey status. Now you basically get a URL and you can click that and test it. So let's do that. You see the blue um, color scheme that we have selected. You get here the basic information that uh, the participant sees when starting the survey. Normally you would have more information about this survey. That is the plain language statement or the information sheet type of information. Uh, participants need to confirm that they really want to do the study. If they click this, um, then the uh, continue button becomes clickable. Uh, let's go through it. Uh, the first question is about age. I just wanted to demonstrate here that if you enter an age that outside the interval that we've chosen, it actually says that that value is not valid. Please select a value that is no less than 18. So let us enter 18 and then we continue. Uh, what's your gender? Male. Uh, then we get the five statements from the uh, satisfaction with life survey. I'm just going to randomly answer them here uh, just to give you a sense of how it works. Once I've completed it, I can click the continue button. Uh, then the uh, depression questionnaire. Again, you cannot click the continue button unless everything is filled in. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, click everything here. But you see now what a, also what a link is between uh, what it looks like as survey code and when it is implemented. You see the scales here at the top, the, the Likert scales and the items that you have entered. Click this button to continue. We are almost at the end. This is a radio type question uh, and then even further and we have now finished it. At the end the participant gets a unique code we only get this if we've asked for it. That can be useful if you want, for example, uh, give course credit to students who participate. So this is finished. So that works. Once people have finished, they go to a search engine, but you can also select a different URL or web link. So let's go back to the survey. We have now tested it. If we now refresh this page, so for example, by clicking again on the depression survey, and we go down to all the way, uh, to download participant data, you now see there's one uh, data set. That's, of course, the data set that I just created. You can download that. You can ask to include Excel files in your download. You want to do that if you work with SPSS because that makes it really easy to get your data into SPSS. If I click download, uh, I get a little dialog. Uh, you can open the zip file that's just been downloaded with your local archive manager. Depends whether you work with Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm working here with Linux, so this is what it looks on my computer. And then you see the files. Basically data.csv and data.excel are the same uh, data, but they are in different file formats. This is the Excel file format. This is the raw data file. And this is actually, these are the questions of your survey. If you open this, if I if I click on it, uh, I open it with LibreOffice here, which is the free Office Suite. Uh, Office Suite, um, you get the uh, for every participant you get a case and you get all the in individual uh, data points. So that's very easy. In the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how you uh, can bring your online questionnaire into real data mode. Um, which will uh, be related here to this real data collection uh, mode option.